But let's let's get into uh, <sighs> Dwayne Wade and what he's allowing to happen in his household. And I don't like to speak about a man's child, so I'm going to speak about the man. And as a man, I don't think Dwayne Wade levels up as a man anymore. And that's just my opinion, brother Dwayne Wade. I don't think you level up as a man. You are letting your woman control your house. You played this thing called basketball. This is a game. Kobe Bryant's children are not honoring him by wearing a dress. Hmm. Kobe Bryant's wife is not honoring him by wearing a dress. I don't think nobody else is honoring Kobe Bryant by wearing a dress. Kobe Bryant was a masculine man who went out my shoulder. Kobe Bryant said, I don't give a damn. Shoot it with your left hand. Wheel it in. This man mindset was golden. This man mindset was I can do anything. And guess where he came from, brother? The way out of high school. Kobe Bryant, there's not a one thing. Rest in peace to Kobe Bryant and his daughter. But I understand the mindset that he probably was giving his children. Do you know how great his oldest daughter mentality probably was having a daddy like Kobe Bryant? That the time that you want to give up, the time that you shoulder, the time that is just, he going to come to you and say, hey, 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 uh-uh, that. The other shoulder work. That old school ancestral, ancestral nature that Kobe Bryant had. People don't like to talk about that. They want to call him a mamba, but no, that was his ancestors. Kobe Bryant didn't give up on shit. And some people got rubbed the wrong way by that. Hell, even me at time. But how do you now honor a man with so much masculinity, so much since a teenager that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Cause that's some of the personal conversations that me and Kobe had through Christ. He believed he could do anything. Now, how does that tie in with a teenage kid who feels like he's a woman now? How does that tie in with him putting this man's Jersey into a mucking dress? Uh, come on and get your sign. Come on and get your sign. Huh. Let me talk about it, man. This is no disrespect to anybody in certain communities or anything, man. First off, the dress was ugly. Let's just get that out the way. The dress was ugly. It was pointless. It's like you're trying to make a statement, but you're making a statement with something that looks so ugly. That just was ugly. Number two, you out here with a jersey dress on, but it doesn't even look like the typical jersey dress that women wear. And on top of that, number three, most women, when they are supporting teams, they're not wearing jersey dresses. Most women. Most of them are wearing jerseys, even if it's a woman's jersey. So those are the three crucial main parts I got to say about this thing right here. Like Kwame said, we are not gonna go after the kid, we are gonna go after the father, the parents, or the parent. And everybody already knows, man. The question is this, would Dwayne Wade do that and try that if Kobe had still been here? And I think not. That's just my opinion. I don't think he would have tried it had Kobe would have still been here. I don't think he would have tried it. And another question is, do you think Kobe would have acknowledged it, get along, reposted it, and talked about it? I don't think he would have. You know, the alphabet community, man, they have this thing where they feel like 
they have to do extra things to get their behavior validated. And Dwayne Wade, I'm not saying he's a bad father, but he has been doing a lot of questionable things as far as a hetero man. And although you have every right to defend your quote unquote daughter the way you want to um, and express things through your daughter's mindset or whatever, however way you want to parent, it's just another when it comes off questionable if you would do or have the same type of energy as far as homage when it comes to an individual who is straight up masculine. My thing is, like I said at the beginning, the dress was ugly as hell, bro. It was nothing good about that jersey. There are women out here for real, for real. For real, for real. When you go to games, even if it's a woman's jersey that they have on, they're not wearing a dress jersey like that. They're not. That's just what it is. So it's just kind of weird when you are trying to make a statement, but it seems like you're trying to make a statement just for you and for what you represent. Um, I really don't want to go too far into this, man, because you know how these people can get. People get all into their feelings and stuff like that. We start touching on topics like this. But Dwayne Wade has been very questionable to me lately. Very questionable. And I'm like again, I'm not telling people how to raise their kids, man, but make this jump make sense. The alphabet community has a way of trying to, like I said, get people to buy or pay attention to their cause. But when you look at their parades, they be little toddlers and little babies holding flags and stuff like that. And then we have naked grown people walking around and don't nobody get questioned for that. But then let it be a hetero parade and see how that turned around. If you see hetero people walking around half naked and there's kids there, it'd be a whole other story. I mean, I don't know Dwayne Wade. I'm gonna be real with you, I ain't rocking with this shit. I ain't rocking with it. And we're going to put this on you. Because that child is going to be that child. And even though they might have, he might have his own mind or she might have her own mind, you are responsible for this right here. Um, I don't want to go too far into it, man. I think my face says it all. But I can for sure tell you 90 some percent of my soul Kobe Bryant wouldn't have rocked with no shit like this and that's the end of the story